Hey everyone, Chris here from Real Ride Share Stories. And Dustin from Dustin is Driving. And hey Chris, are you still collecting that PUA? Yeah, right now I am. Um, you know when that, to you open know, up. You know when it ends? Uh, yeah, it's coming up real soon, July 31st, next month. Oh, well there's rumors it might be getting extended. I heard that, yes. So they might be extending it through either December 31st or there's been talk about it going until the end of the pandemic. Uh, there's a lot of speculation going on right now, but currently, as it sits, it's supposed to go until July 31st. Uh, so that's going to have large, implica that, large implications when it comes to Uber and Lyft drivers and whether they're going to get back out on the road before that or just after that, or if they're going to continue uh, or try to find something else. Uh, so what are your thoughts on that? Well, my thoughts, I know right now, all the people that are collecting the PUA are pretty happy with it for the simple fact of they're probably making more than what they were actually when they're out there driving. Okay, let's just face it. They got 600 bucks on top of whatever they're getting from their state. Come on now, that's over, uh, it's probably either over or close to $1,000 a week that they're making. Not putting wear and tear in their vehicle, not worried about getting a false report or anything not trying to explain to passengers all these new pol <clears throat> policies. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're happy with it right now. So if this gets extended, they'll definitely be happy with that. Um, I know the people that are out there driving right now, there's been reports of people making like two, three, four thousand dollars $4,000 a week. Yeah, mm -hmm. a week. I said it. That's insane. But it is true because the simple fact of there's not a lot of drivers out there. Most drivers are collecting this PUA. They're depending on it. They're hoping that it continues. But if it doesn't continue, well, that's going to be a different story. Yeah, that's true. And that's the big thing. Like when I go on the app right now, I'm seeing surge all over the area. There's promotions in my area for specific times. Promotions? Uh, because, yeah, so they're trying to get people back out there. They're trying to get people driving again because demand is starting to go up. So as states are starting to reopen and things are starting to scale up, you know, you're starting to see an increase in demand of rides, but it's not surging to the point where it was prior to this whole pandemic because everything isn't open. There's a lot of things that are closed. Uh, so a lot of the drivers that are out there are reaping the rewards because they're seeing five to 10 even more in surge when it comes down to it per ride or for the majority of their rides because it's covering a vast area versus just a small section or if there is an event going on where it can uh, expand there. Uh, so you're seeing a lot of drivers who are still out there, but if it sets to expire on July 31st, that means a lot of drivers are faced with the decision. Do they go back on the road or what else are they going to do after that? Dun, um, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so it's going to be pretty interesting to see what happens over the next few weeks because the next couple of weeks is exactly what's going, what it's going to take, whether they're going to let it expire or if they're going to extend it. And then how are they going to extend it? So I've heard it could go through December 31st of this year. Um, I heard it could go until the end of the pandemic. I heard that it could be $600. I heard that it could be $200 or $250. I heard $450. So it could change Show me in the money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it could change in terms of how much money people are going to get if they do extend it. Um, so there's a lot of things that could be happening after July 31st. Um, now, my personal opinion is I think they're probably going to extend it. I don't know for how long. I don't know if it's going to be to the end of the year or if they say to the end of the pandemic or declare it at a certain time where it's ready to be uh, canceled on or expunged. Uh, I don't know what that's going to look like. And I don't know if they're going to change the amount of money that they're giving per person who's on unemployment because it's not just Uber and Lyft drivers. It's just anybody who is collecting unemployment is receiving extra $600 uh, plus whatever they might be getting from the state. Uh, so it's going to be a lot of money that's going through. Um, but I think over the next few weeks, that's going to be the biggest thing because as things are opening, how are cases happening? Are they increasing? Which right now, yes, they are increasing. So 
are we still continuing the first wave? Is this the second wave? Um, I've heard reports either or. So as things are opening up, uh, they're try they might be scaling back a little bit depending on certain areas because there's a lot of people going out. So outside patios have been packed in my area, even inside bars and in that that have been able to open up have been pretty busy, at least what it looks like um, from what I've seen. And I don't know what you've seen, but I know you were talking about the beach. So what, what was going on there? Yeah, and the beaches have all opened up and everything. And I can definitely say ain't nobody like social distancing isn't really a thing out there. Uh, people having a mask. I mean, let's face it. It's 90 degrees out there. You ain't got no mask on while you're at mm -hmm. the beach trying to get a tan, trying to have a tan, a mask tan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they got so, the farmer's tan. They got the, the you know, they got the other t types of tans, the tan lines. Now you're going to have the COVID tan. <laughs> the COVID tan. That's right, guys. Uh, For a limited yeah, time only, you can have this COVID tan. <laughs> but what do you, what do you, uh, yeah, what do you think? Do you think, though, um, what's going to happen when it comes, like, like, let's say right now, if everything goes according and they say, well, it's ex ex expired on 731, August 1st, what do you think drivers are going to do? Uh, what do you I think guarantee it's going to look you, like? Uh, August 1st. If that's what happens, drivers will be back out there driving to try to get that money because, let's face it, bills got to get paid, mouths got to get fed, people are hungry, they need to eat, and drivers are going to do what they know best because it's not like, um, for, for most people collecting all this PUA right now, it's not like all of them are Uber and Lyft drivers or gig workers in general. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's everybody out there. So a lot mm. of people have been laid off, like what, 40 million or something like that. It, it's insane yeah. how high the numbers are. It hasn't been this since, since uh, what, the Great Depression? Or Depression? Yeah. That's the last time they've seen numbers this high. So there's not a lot of work out there for people. So everyone's obviously going to try to jump on some kind of gig app. And everyone that's out there reaping the rewards of high risk, high reward right now, you, you, can, you can kiss that goodbye. Mm -hmm. The two, yeah, three like rides you might get in an hour is going to probably go back down to one an hour depending on it. Cause I mean, let's face it, like all the people used to camp at the airports, you know, our airport campers, well, they got to go other places cause the airports aren't back to normal or anything. Um, we were messing around before we started the video and looked at our airports and he said zero. There yeah. ain't nobody at the airport <laughs> right now. And that's just how it's going to be. People are going to find, they got to go with where the work is and everyone has to adapt or you're going to be screwed. Mm -hmm. But I hate to say it. If this ends and everyone jumps back on the apps, there's not enough demand to keep up with the drivers. You yeah. know what I'm saying? There's going to be way too many drivers. Yeah, exactly. You hit it right on the head. I mean, you're seeing some demand start to increase again. So like during, you know, I, I've checked the app just to see exactly what it was looking like out there. And I was seeing, you know, two fifty, three fifty, sometimes $4 in surge. Now when I go on and check it, I'm seeing 5 to $10 in surge, sometimes more depending on the time of day or night. And so you're seeing uh, an increase in demand for sure. And there's less drivers on the road. So the drivers that are out are really happy. But yeah, if you expire that and you have all these drivers going back online, at least in August or the beginning of August, uh, you're going to see that demand. Uh, you're going to see it's going to look like nothing. Uh, it's going to be looking like no one's out there because there's an oversupply of drivers. So it's not going to be as lucrative. And because there's, it's definitely, the demand is not pre-pandemic. Um, yeah, because pre-pandemic, what, we dropped 85, 90% of what they were. It sure has mm -hmm. not gone back up 85, 90%. So mm -hmm. all those people jumping on there thinking they're going to be making a lot of money, just it's just not going to be there. And that's what we always said, have backups to your backups. Mm -hmm. you better multi-app as much as you can, get into passive income, do something. Because these are not guaranteed. Unemployment's not guaranteed. Nothing is guaranteed except one thing. You will live, you will die, you will pay taxes. <laughs> yeah, those are, those are the two, two guarantees of life, death and yep. taxes. Um, but yeah, and then last question, um, do you think that they're going to extend it at all? What's your thoughts on that? And then how do you think it might look? Um, I think they will extend it, at least because of right now, as they're trying to reopen things and do things, that there are more cases being brought to light and everything else that the smartest thing that for them to be able to flatten the curve or anything is to just go ahead and extend the PUA. For, um, so that way 
they're not forcing more people to go out there and expose themselves than necessary. So all those drivers that are out there making the good money right now will continue to make that good money with their high risk. But to some, it's worth it. To others, it's not. The ones that are going to collect, they're going to sit home, smile, and do other things while they collect. Yeah. And then uh, last question I got for you. Do you want to get back out there yet? Oh, yeah, I want to get back out there, especially considering here now that I'm in Jersey, the Jersey Shore, the only time it really surges down here on the South Jersey is in the summertime. Okay, so I want to get back to it while it's nice. And otherwise, I'm going to be screwed come winter and have to go like two hours up north to see some surge. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of want to get back out there. I've had enough time off where – it's great. It's nice to, to get things done, what you got to get done and all that. But it's like, all right, let's start getting back. Um, but, you know, there, there's, there's a few other circumstances that are playing into those decisions as well, too. Um, and so it's going to really come down to it. But, you know, I had the time off. I want to get back to some fun rides, not the crazy things. But that also brings up, too, there's been a lot of crazy that's been going on because of the whole changes that they've made with the mask, with the down to three riders, uh, only in the back. Windows are supposed to be open um, to, for the fresh air. You know, there's a lot of changes there. I don't know about you, 95 degrees, when you're driving around, that's, that's rough on, on you, um, plus wearing a mask. and Yeah, plus wearing that. that mask, trying to breathe, and 95, yeah, that's going to suck. People are mm -hmm. getting having their AC blasting and the windows down. It's like, I just burn money. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's just, it's, it's going to be crazy. But uh, hopefully like, you know, I think it's going to get extended. I really, I honestly do. Mm -hmm. But in either event, because right now, currently as it sits, they are saying that, or I mean, I'm sorry, they're not saying that it's going to be extended yet. They don't know that nobody has kind of come, come together or anything. They did pass that HEROES Act uh, in the House, uh, but nothing happened on the Senate side. Uh, so it was kind of dead on arrival when it came down to it. And that was in a huge uh, stimulus package bill right there too, which would have provided more stimulus checks for all Americans, would have uh, changed how the uh, pandemic unemployment assistance, I believe that would have gone through to December 31st. Uh, but... Yeah, I think right there, I think they're going to extend it a little bit, whether it's the same $600 or not, whether it's a little bit lower, uh, that's still up in the air. Uh, but I think that they're probably going to extend it because it's not just gig workers, it's a lot of people. And a lot of things are at a smaller capacity than what it was before. Uh, and a lot of people that are being hired back could be part-time instead of full-time like they were full-time before. Uh, so they're making those decisions. Uh, so there's a lot of moving parts to this thing. Um, but it's going to be really big over the next couple of weeks. But also, as you said, it's, you got to have backups to your backups. And that just means if pandemic, uh, if the PUA does expire next month, what are you going to do? You got to start thinking about those types of things now. Are you going to look at getting a different job? Are you going to continue driving Uber and Lyft? Are you going to continue with a different app uh, or a gig app? Uh, what are you going to do? So it's just something to kind of get you going and, and thinking about what could be coming next month if things do expire. Uh, I totally agree. And hopefully people have been thinking about it the whole time, whether they're collecting or not. They've been using this time the pandemic has brought upon us to think of their future. I mean, that's mm -hmm. the best way to put it right there. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, I don't think there's going to be so many, as many full-time drivers going back as there were before this all happened. And I'm not even sure. I've heard a lot of part-timers aren't even going to go back. Yep. Yeah, it's you know going to be saying? pretty so, interesting to see. Definitely. It definitely is. All right. So if you want to wrap it up, Dustin. But all right, guys, as always, check the description below for extra information and tips. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell so you can get notified every time we come out with new videos. And please be safe, use common sense, and until next time, guys, keep collecting or don't. <laughs>